recession-proof your business. I know at the moment the world seems really uncertain and there is so much doom and gloom. And when you actually dig deep into some of the financial forecasts and the economic picture, it can look really bleak. And as a small business owner, that's scary. That's really scary. But it's important to remember that sometimes there is a media cycle of the negative news and they don't always report the positive. So for example, oil prices that are going up, they don't actually report that they're also going down or food prices that massively went up because of Ukraine have also gone down. And so there is global supply and demand, but the media, me as a former journalist, we will report the things that are news where it's like, oh, this is, there's a massive spike in this, this is going up, but we won't always report when it's going back down. So really watch that because um, there is that fear that can permeate everything you do. And when you are fearful as a business owner, it means that you are in that fight or flight mode. You're scared. It puts you off actually wanting to um, market yourself, put yourself out in the world to be confidently share your message because you're scared. I get it. It is a scary time. But I want you just to put that aside for a moment and say, you know what? Actually, I can do this. There are people that want to buy from me. I just need to share my message with the world. I need to put myself out there. So the first most important thing you can do is really have that mindset to say, this is not the easiest time to be in business, but I am going to do this. I'm going to have big, broad shoulders. I'm going to do this. And even if you just by sitting or standing and putting your shoulders back, you feel more confident, instantly feel more confident. Use those techniques of just confidence building in your body language, which will permeate everything. So really be conscious of the way you present yourself, the way that you show up, because that will affect how you start thinking. So if you can start feeling like, yeah, I'm more confident, that will show up and resonate in how you present yourself on videos, in meetings, because you begin to feel like, yes, I can do this. So that confidence, keep that. It's not a bravado thing. You can still recognize that you have insecurities and doubts and fears, but by holding yourself in a confident way, you are more self-assured and that will really resonate with you. Your mindset really matters when it comes to managing this economic situation because rather than being in flight or fight mode and you know really being scared I want you to use it as a like right I'm gonna do this and instead of having it as a fearful thing so my son had a great book when he was younger it was about do you want to be a mouse or a lion and the lion was scared of the mouse now, the thing is that we can be a small business owner, but we can still find our rah. And it's really important to find your raw. So even though you've got everything going on, I want you, instead of to have the fear, to channel that into, right, let's do this. And by having that energy, you can put some swear words in there if you want to, by having that as a kind of pushing you forward. So channel that fear instead into anger, into like ag aggression that you are going to move it, propel you forward. And sometimes we need to channel that. So it's a rage that is going to drive your business forward. Rather than it being a fearful space, it's going to be a positive energy that you are going to use to push you forward and propel you forward because you can do it. You just need that motivation to say, I'm going to do this. I am going to do this. One of the best ways to do that is, you know how sometimes we can, we can have people say, oh, they can't do this thing. You're never going to do it. You're never going to achieve it. But if you say, screw you, I'm going to show you. And you literally say, right, I'm going to do this. And you do it almost to prove a point. 
That is what I want you to do right now. I want you to harness that energy so that you are gonna make a difference. You are gonna show up because actually, this is about mindset. This is not about global economics. This is about you finding your path through. So yes, there is gonna be challenges. Yes, it is gonna be a difficult time, but you have got what it takes to make it happen. You just need to focus. When it comes to actually getting new clients, the best way that you can get new clients is by marketing yourself. And we live in an age where we can market ourselves for free to thousands of people. We are so lucky to have Instagram or LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever platform. And so these are free tools that you can use to attract your audience. And so, Put yourself out there, stop scrolling, harness that energy and go for it. But I want you to look at the numbers. If you are posting on Facebook and you're not getting a return on investment of your time, then stop it. Go and try TikTok or LinkedIn or somewhere where you are going to get a better return on investment. So for me, I have a fairly big Facebook group but I barely see any return on investment for that. So while I will post in there, it's not something I'm massively putting my heart and soul and energy into. Instead, I put my energy into LinkedIn because I get a better return on investment. And so if you put your energy into somewhere like LinkedIn, where the algorithm is in your favor, you're gonna do better, you're gonna get more reach. And so that is gonna help you to get clients. So put your energy into places that are going to work for you, that will help you to attract your ideal clients, and then show up, connect with people, make meaningful connections. And rather than just scrolling, you don't have to actually make your own post, but give really useful, valuable comments to people where they do take notice of you. And from that, that can help you to attract a new client base. So whatever it may be, however you work your business, it's really important what you put out there, what you give to the world, because it will come back to you. But show up with confidence, with energy, and show up believing that you are gonna get through this. Yes, it's gonna be difficult times to navigate, but you can do this. If you like this video, I would love you to subscribe. I share lots of tips and strategies to help you build and grow your online business. So please click the link below to subscribe or don't forget, forget to hit the bell and I'll see you again soon. Bye, bye, bye for now.